Hey guys, so I am back out here in Sedona. We're here with my husband. I'm here with my husband. <laughs> uh, and we are hiking Bryn's Mesa Trail today. What do you think, Josh? You like um, what you see? It's so pretty far? spectacular. What's in your pocket? My phone. Oh. And so uh, I just got to show you this view. It's pretty amazing. I hope I, I hate that I can't see what you're seeing, so I hope I get it. Uh, here we go. Super pretty. Come over here. That's this little tree. It's a perfect day. Very hot. It's, it's already 10. We were trying to get here a little early, but uh, we tried Soldier's Pass. Soldier's Pass Trail? Was that Soldier's what it was? Path. Yeah, and so we had to battle park. for a parking spot. We thought someone passed one up, so we took it. And then we're getting out, and they turned around and they were yelling back at us, so we, we left, so they didn't get so angry and they got that spot and then we went over to Sunrise Trail which we figured we got good parking there but the trail was just a trail itself so it was teeny tiny yeah tiny little trail we thought it was going to match up to all these but it didn't oh dang come so, on <laughs> already I told you I have to go slow on these inclines I... anyway so Holy. now we found Bren's Mesa yeah, we're on our way to Bryn's Mesa. We're on our way there. And we're gonna hit the loop that circles by Soldier's Pass. We're gonna meet up there and Yeah, so we're going to Soldier's Pass anyway. Parking Nazi. Yeah, parking Nazi. <laughs> and so after that we are gonna go pacify Teacup Rock, which is one I kinda wanted to see. There's a few other rocks that are supposed to look like things. <sighs> but I don't know if we're gonna make it there. Turn your phone around, let me see that map. This is gonna be like six miles. I'm uh hoping I can make it and then um, seven pools was the other thing that we're hoping to somehow come across but we'll see if it ends up being that way anyway here's our view now I'm gonna come over this hill Whew. thank god we're not going uphill anymore uh, here I bet you can see it after this tree <laughs> I'll show you guys here we go this is good so here's our view Trying to go slow so you guys don't get nauseous. Anyway, here we go, Bryn's Mesa. Do you want to say anything, Josh? Bryn's Mesa. <laughs> All right, bye. So there's a rattlesnake up here. Please don't. Oh, come on. Where? No, just let her go. I don't know if it's here. You should have got that snake hit, Josh. Sure should have got that twice. Dang, I'm glad you saw it. I hope it's getting it on camera. She's getting out of here though. That's Ooh, good. rattlesnake. So we're pretty far into Bryn's Mesa taking some pictures because we've got beautiful scenery. Anyway, so the trail is a lot of fun. We saw that rattlesnake back there. That was pretty impressive. We met some Canadians that were telling us about how they lived in Texas for two years and moved back up to Canada and they were so happy to not have gators and scorpions and stuff. Anyway, so here's our trail. Bryn's Mesa. I think we're supposed to be getting close to the Mesa at some point. There's lots, lots of cactus growing along the side of this one. I took some pictures already. And Josh is really liking it. It's a good step. Look at that. Look at this. Anyway, there we go. I think we're in the mesa. Almost. We just, we just climbed up a lot of natural stairs. 
Oh my gosh, it was a lot of work. Um, it's a lot of work. <laughs> we took our time because last time I was here, I did a little horse trail and just thought I would plow through it and I totally overdid it. So I'm just surprised we got up this high. Check it out. sorts of animals here. Hi little guy. I won't hurt you. You can stay. What you doing? Hanging out? Are you kidding me with this view right now? It's so pretty. We just climbed up over that. It's the steepest trail in our life. It was fun. And we've done about the same amount left to go. Made it to the top of Burns Mesa. It is really gorgeous up here. Josh, wave. It's beautiful. We're on top. I think this is Bryn's Mesa, unless that's Bryn's Mesa. I don't really know which one it is, but we're on top of something really high right now. And yeah. it's very pretty. Look at this view. goodness and uh, I don't know if you can see those people way up there but that's supposed to be where we go next I don't know I'm gonna have to stop and eat my beef jerky and a banana like that's gonna be that's gonna be <laughs> we're more than halfway there oh my gosh we're like... okay we got to go finish this off five out of six to Bye. the top we stop to eat some lunch Got my epic bar. And we've got a view of a cactus here. Found the little shady spot. Hey Josh, is that looking at you? Yep, looking right at me. <laughs> and who can blame you? Are you using the beef stick like a cigar? A little bit, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Is it spicy enough? Oh, oh. Anyway, so yeah, we're eating up here on Bryn's Mesa. Gorgeous view. Almost unreal, really. Anyway, so thought I'd show you my view. I like that cactus. It's got like, the little purple humps on it. I think those are gonna end up being flowers. I think. I don't really know. I'd never stop up here. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Thank God, I hope it's all downhill from here. So we made it to Soldier's Pass and 
we just got back from that way, that's Bryn's Mesa, and now we are going off to, well, look, Bryn's Mesa still goes, like, are they crazy? Have they already gone on the rest of the trail? Like, who wants more of that? That's insane. <laughs> I'm kidding, it was a great trail, but holy dang, some people are just in shape. So now we're headed this way with Soldier's Pass. What have you thought so far, Josh? Um, pretty amazing. So far, we're two hours of solid hiking, and we're at the halfway point. But we did stop a lot for taking pictures. We took it super food. easy because I am just like, I am way out of shape. <laughs> so like if you wanted to hike for days, you could probably bring a backpack and a tent and just non-stop hike. Yeah, on like one trail, on one trail. Look, it just keeps going that way. And we are headed up. Oh. Here we go on this trail. And uh, it's so nice. It is so nice. This is so easy. The other side is like rocks this big under your feet, going yeah. straight up the side like, of a cliff. Like literally, it was like steps. Like I, I got pictures. I'll stick them in the video. I'm glad we oh, started. Oh, and look, the, what, what do you got? These pretty cactus flowers. They're starting to bloom. They're so pretty. I got some pictures of those too. So anyway, here we go. trail like right on the edge <sighs> it's a good one okay so whew, we are still on soldiers pass still and uh we're coming up here trying to find sea ebola i think it is to get back to jordan trailhead but there's like these fallen rocks down here it looks really neat I don't know what would cause it, but uh, the guy who lived here just passed us and he was like, oh, I live here, where do you need to go? So we told him, he said, see if is the right way, but it's a mile to the trail, and then another mile. We still have two miles. Oh my God. Okay, soldiers pass parking. That's not us, right? That's not us. Let's see what this other trail. There's another sign over here. What does the other side of this say? Jordan, this way. Isn't that what we want? Yeah. Anyway, so still lots of beautiful scenery. I think I'm getting burnt to a crisp. We did not pack enough water, so trying to ration it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, still gorgeous scenery. Here's a Jeep. Here's a Jeep. Can we hitch a ride? We came up to where the Jeep tours go. Riding around on these rocks. We just climbed up this with that Jeep. There you go. There's our trail. <laughs> Hold on, I want to get this on video. Doesn't make your dad want to come out. Yeah. Whoa! Big drop. Oh, wow. You got it. You're good. <laughs> there they go. I can't cry because I'm dehydrated. <laughs> uh, how long Just have we been out here? Point four miles to go. <laughs> How long have we been out here? I don't even know, like forever. Four hours, five hours? At least we're ending on a high note here. We are on Ciabola Pass, Ciabola, I don't know how to say it, but we got a lot of shade and trees. Thank God, it's hot. But it's been beautiful. Very nice scenery. Saw a rattlesnake, lots of lizards, pretty birds, uh, lots of cactus flowers and Lots of uphill climbing. <laughs> we're still going uphill. Yeah, we're still going uphill somehow. But that's okay. Uh, I'm pretty proud of myself. Like, this was miles and miles. It's the longest trail I've done here yet. 
Seven miles, Josh, for real? Oh my God, seven miles. I feel like a champion. <laughs> anyway, so it's a good way to end it. We've been out here about three and a half, four hours. Three and a half or four hours. So here we go. It's our last day. Pretty trail. I'm back in the rental car. We just finished. We went up uh, Burns Mesa, came down Soldier's Pass, and hooked over to see Bola, however you want to say it. it. Took us basically four hours. We left at 10, it is now 2 o'clock. I feel like I'd be a champion right now. <laughs> I never thought I could go a hiking trail that long. That's amazing. Anyway, Josh is taking some pictures of some signs, and I am signing off. So we survived. We're in the car driving through uh, Uptown Sedona in just a minute on Jordan Road. We're going by the shops. Oh man, that was a hike. What'd you think of it, Josh? Um, <clears throat> that was a really beautiful hike, but uh, a lot longer than we realized it was going to be. Because when you say seven miles to a Texan, you're thinking just seven miles, not seven miles. Not a mountain. <laughs> not seven miles a mountain. <laughs> oh my God. So I'll let you guys see a little bit of uptown Sedona while we drive through it. Flip it over here.